Recently, on a webinar, I was showing a demo of Scribe to students at a leading film school here in India. And one of the participants asked me if it's possible to create a brand new structure with its own story beats for use within their screenplays. The answer is yes, you can do that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to search for Hollywood story structure. And from the search results, let's say I'm going to open this link. Okay, we have a story structure presented here with its own set of beats. I'm going to open a text editor and simply list out all of the story beats from this structure. So we have the normal world first, followed by inciting incident. And then we have the first turning point, which is uh, accepting the call, followed by learning new world. And then we have midpoint and then things fall apart. Then we have the second turning point or the lowest moment followed by climax and then resolution. So these are the story beats in the structure. And let's give a name to all of these story beats. I'm going to call this as Hollywood story arc. And notice how we are providing names in square brackets. Normal world occurs in the first act. So I'm going to mention the name of the act to which this beat belongs in angular brackets. Uh, inciting incident also belongs to act one and the first turning point also belongs to act one. And then learning the new world belongs to act two. And then we have the midpoint also belonging to act two. Considering that a lot of writers like to divide their films into four acts, uh, the act two being split across the midpoint, we might want to call this as act two A. And then things fall apart will obviously go to act two B. And then the second turning point or the lowest moment is also going to be in act two B. The climax, of course, is going to be in Act 3. Um, the resolution is also going to be in Act 3. So here we have a list of all the beats in the structure and also names of the acts to which they belong. So I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to head to Scryte. Let me go ahead and open the 4 acts, 40 scenes template. So this is going to present to me 40 blank scenes. I'm now going to head to settings and then switch to the structure tab and here I'm going to paste the Hollywood story arc structure beats that I wrote in the notepad. Now you'll notice that this panel now shows story beats from both Hollywood story arc and the save the cat structure. Now I'm going to hit apply and now I can notice that Hollywood story arc shows up in the list of grouping options within the structure tab. So let me go ahead and select the Hollywood story arc option. Now I can select a bunch of index cards in act one and then tag it to a story beat from the Hollywood story arc structure. So I'm going to select normal world because that's what is going to happen at the very beginning of my story. Then let's say I'm going to select a few more index cards and I'm going to tag this as the inciting incident and then at the very end of my act one uh, we have the very first turning point. Now notice that as I tag beats from this structure we see group boxes showing around these index cards telling us the beat to which these index cards belong to. All right, so I'm going to go to Act 2A and select some of these index cards. And then I'm going to tag them with learning the new world. And then at the end of Act 2A is likely where we're going to have the midpoint. So I'm going to right click and tag it as midpoint. So like this, I can go ahead and tag all of the index cards in my structure canvas. If I went to settings and switch to structure tab here and then removed all of the beats from save the cat then what will happen is that only beats from Hollywood story arc structure is going to show up in the tag groups menu. The other thing I want to point out is this when you add your story beats 
to the this document panel of the structure tab what happens is that the story beats will be available only for the document that you're currently editing if you want these beats to be available to all of the new documents that you're going to open in the future then you have to switch to the default global tab and then add them here so that was the demo now you know how to use story beats from your own structures within your screenplays in Scribe. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful time writing your next screenplay.